How to solve a systems of equation word problem with two different prices. All right, so I'll start off by reading the problem. Two friends went to a store. One of them bought four CDs and two DVDs, which cost $40. The other one bought nine CDs and five DVDs, which cost $92. How much does each item cost? So when you have a problem like this, you have to assume that all CDs cost the same amount and all DVDs cost the same amount. Otherwise, it would be impossible, or almost impossible to do the problem. Or we'll just say impossible. All right, so first step is to convert the problem into two equations with two variables. So I did 4C for four CDs, plus 2D for two DVDs, equals 40, which equals $40. My second equation, I got 9C for nine CDs, plus 5D for five DVDs, equals $92. Okay. So the second step is to solve for one of the variables in any of the equations. Okay, so I picked solving for D in this case. Okay, um, you can solve for C first if you wanted to, the order doesn't matter. So I divided the first equation by two. So that gave me two C plus D equals 20. And if you just subtract two C from both sides, you get D equals 20 minus 2C, okay? So now I have a, an expression for D, D is equal to 20 minus 2C. So then what you can do is you can take that and you can substitute that. So everywhere where you see D in the other equation, you could actually just put 20 minus 2C, okay? So the original equation is here, 9C plus 5D equals 92, and now it's 9C plus 5 d, which is this expression, equals 92. Okay? So and then you just solve for that. Solve that equation for c. And then, so I use the distributive property here. 5 times 20 is 100. 5 times negative 2c is negative 10c. Right? Okay, move some stuff around. And I get negative c is equal to negative 8, or c is equal to 8. Okay, finally, we can substitute that C back into here. Okay, so remember C is 8. So instead of putting a C here, I can put 8. That's 20 minus 16. So that means D is equal to 4. Okay, and that completes our problem. But you should always check your answer, especially when you have a systems of equation problem. And how you do that is simply by substituting these answers back into one of the original equations. Okay? And if I do that really fast, put an 8 right here. So 4 times 8 is 32. Put a 4 right here. So 2 times 4 is 8. So 32 plus 8 is 40. So it checks out. All right, that completes a problem.